Well, hello everybody. Hi. Um, I guess we're going to do another mailbag this week, so let's get started. Good idea. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, here's a really nice card. It's from Rachel K in Mexico. Dear Rusty. So just to confirm, it's uh, Rusty does get the mail, but I answer all the questions. So here we go. Are there going to be any birds in heaven? Hmm, good question. Um, I'm going to go out on a small limb and say maybe yes. Uh, I really don't know, but um, I'm kind of I'm kind of counting on fish being in heaven. So uh, if I count on fish being in heaven, then there's got to be some birds too. So one thing though, Rachel, like your birds better not eat up all my fish, and then when I get to heaven, there's no fish left. So oh, that'd be very disappointing. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, another nice card here. This one's from. Hannah and Charlie uh, here in Edmonton. Oh, wow. They say, Dear Rusty. Okay. My mom always says that we remind her of angels, not so much from my dad. Are there any mention of angels uh, or people that look like angels in the Bible? Hmm. That's another good question. Uh, I know of uh, in Acts 6, 8 to 15, there's a man named Stephen and he was referred to as a very good man. And he was uh, kind of referred to as an angel too. He was, uh, he was sharing the good news of God and then people didn't like what he had to say. And then when he went on to trial, they had all these lies against him. And then they started accusing him of all these things. And then while that was all happening, people said, wow, he looks just like an angel. Like, that's because he spoke the truth and he wasn't afraid of what was going on. Wow. Actually, uh, I got a little story. Let me share that with you and then we'll go from there. Okay. Stephen was handpicked to preach the word of God. He spoke with much wisdom and much boldness, but that made a lot of people very angry and upset because they didn't like to hear what Stephen was saying. So they secretly stirred up lies about him behind his back and got him in trouble with the Sanhedrin, which is the head Jewish religious leaders of the day. They're kind of like judges in a court today. So these bad people told lies about him and they twisted the truth and it made it look like he was saying bad things, but he wasn't saying bad things, he was saying good things. They didn't like to hear what the things he was saying. And when Stephen was in court hearing all these lies, they say his face was like a face of an angel. So did they let Stephen go because he was so cute at the end? <laughs> Not exactly. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna... Uh share that lesson just yet but uh, that's down the road okay i think we have time for one more card okay oh here's a nice one it's from samuel v in disneyland oh wow that's got to be a cool place to live disneyland all right he writes dear rusty you are so funny you make me laugh did jesus ever laugh in the bible hmm uh, did he ever laugh uh, I don't recall Jesus ever laughing or physically laughing out loud. I'm sure because he's human, he had a he had a sense of humor and stuff like that. And I'm sure he rolled his eyes a lot, like, like oh my goodness. But we never have any witness of that either, so I can't really say that either. So, But uh, tell you what, why don't you, when uh, you and I, we get to heaven, let's tell him our best joke and see what happens from there. But when you tell him a joke, make sure it's not one of your dad's. It's got to be a good one. So I think that's it. So let's uh, sign off and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.